Hello everyone, Sergeant274, back with part, I believe, 9 of my beginner's guide here. Uh, last time we went down to the catacombs and took out Pinwheel, and now uh, we haven't used our souls here to level up. We still have 19,876 currently. Uh, what we're going to do is get up to 20,000, and then we are going to head over to Andre and pick up the crest of Artorias so we can... Join the forest hunters today, and we'll also take out the moonlight butterfly. Um, <coughs> so we're just going to get to 20,000 here real quick by farming these guys a little bit. There we go. Pick up a short sword. Now we have 20,000. Um, the reason I farm these guys here to get to 20,000 instead of going up to the chapel there is because we are still in human form. And you have to be careful... Um, when going through the chapel low level in human form because there are a lot of um, invaders up there invaders that have high level weapons <coughs> excuse me high level or upgraded weapons and armor and they will invade you and most likely kill you so what we're gonna do is run up here and then we're just gonna run straight across to Andre and hope we don't get invaded so if we do get invaded oh well We'll deal with it, but hopefully we can just run straight across. And this will, this is what I would recommend. If you don't want to worry about it, you can suicide yourself there at fire length by falling off the edge of the cliff. I'm staying in human form, though, because um, when we get to the Moonlight Butterfly, we are going to go and um, get some help from Beatrice. So there you go. We got it. We, we were able to run right across, and you can't be invaded in here. Once you go through that little doorway there, you can't be invaded. Whoa, I didn't see that guy there. Apparently they will follow you, so... <laughs> there we go. Alright, so back in the parish here. We'll go talk to Andre real quick. Make sure you rest at this bonfire, by the way. going to be the closest one for now. So come over here, talk to Andre, and then purchase the Crest of Artorias for 20,000 souls. And that's what we're going for now. You don't have to do this, but um, it will be beneficial because we'll get some good stuff by purchasing that. You can come up a back way without purchasing the crest, but that's pretty difficult. Especially for um, someone that's not familiar with the area. So through here, we'll, we'll continue using the Drake Sword. I will upgrade the uh, uh, Claymore and Halberd and Black Knight Sword shortly. So again here, you can be invaded. So we're going to go through here pretty quickly. Watch out here when you lock onto him, because if he falls down, and you continue to press the attack button you will follow him down over here that guy's gonna pop up this block takes two shots two-handed this guy's back here and he whacked us All right, there we go they drop blood red <laughs> purple and blooming purple moss clumps the blood red is the use least useful which of course is what we just got there Alright, so come over here. There's a crest that we can open. Um, if you don't know about it yet, there's a bonfire right in here. So what we're going to do is light the bonfire, rest at the bonfire. We are going to switch our shield here to the crest shield, because crest shield has good magic resistance. Then we are going to run down this direction and take on the moonlight butterfly. Again. Alright. So now just follow the light here. Follow these little lighting paths here. Or flowers or whatever it is. If you cut through straight over to it, you will aggro giants and more of those, uh, whatever you want to call those, uh, other enemies, plant type enemies. So run by this guy. But before you, before you go up to take on the Moonlight Butterfly, Come behind this little uh, plant here, or tree, whatever it is, and summon Beatrice. Beatrice? 
Alright. As soon as you walk over here, this guy will aggro. So just do this. Hold whatever, you know. Beatrice will kill him in one shot. There you go. And he's dead. Now, let's walk up these stairs and Moonlight Butterfly is on the top of these stairs through the um, white, what do they call it here? White light. You can see the Moonlight Butterfly, there it is, right up there. Moonlight Butterfly is a ranged and it, well, it's flying, so you have to use ranged attacks. Um, it will eventually land, and that's where you can unload on it. But for now, just come over here and kind of strafe it. Keep your crush shield up. And if Beatrice actually decides to hit the Moonlight Butterfly... Um, see, you can... Crush shield really works, so you can block that. Normally I tell people, you know, just roll... Um, but if you have the crush shield, you really don't have to worry about rolling. You can just sit there and take them. See? See, watch, I'll take this big one. See, I didn't do much damage at all. And Beatrice just killed him. Her. It. The butterfly. The butterfly will land, like I said, after a, a short amount of time in the air. It will land, like, on one of these railings here, and then you can melee attack the butterfly. So for defeating it, you get 10,000 souls, which will help us um, when we go back to upgrade our weapon. That being the Claymore and the Helper. <laughs> I'm going to show off different weapon types, but first I want to upgrade the plus 5, as anyone should. So come up the opposite tower here, and you get the Watchtower Basement Key. That really... If you took the master key, that's unnecessary, but if you didn't take the master key, that unlocks basically the door um, where we fought Havel or Havel at. And you get the Divine Ember and a Homeward Bone. Alright. So, one could now use the Homeward Bone and teleport back to that bonfire. Um, the secret one there, kind of, that we rolled through the invisible wall to get to. But instead of doing that right now, we're going to go and try to get uh, a good set of armor. Uh, the Elite Knight set. Which is not too far away. Now, you don't have to worry about people invading you in this area now. At least by the Moonlight Butterfly, because you killed the boss of the area. Alright, so what you probably want, pro excuse me, probably want to do is heal up here and then... The Elite Knight set is right over here to your left. It's right there. But you see there's a giant there. And then there's two of these guys. So, I wonder if we can kill them. There you, well, we almost did. But their animation didn't allow us to fully kill it. There's one down. You can... Alright, now this guy here... He will hurt you if he hits you, obviously. Don't be afraid to heal. He's kind of stupid here. So strafe around him, and then unload on him. He will do tranquil walk a piece, don't worry about it. If he does that, just back up. Just keep retreating, and uh, it will wear off eventually. So slowly over here, you'll probably aggro a couple of those other guys, maybe. Let's see if we can do it without aggroing them. Nope. Alright, so there you go. You got the Elite Knight set. If you don't want to fight these guys, grab it and then run back here. Let's see, do I have Homeward Bone in my inventory now? And just, like I say, keep retreating. If I can find my Homeward Bones, then use a Homeward Bone. be right back here. Now we can either use the, um, what do you call it, the souls to level up some more or we can save those to uh, make our, um, what do you call it, weapons into plus fives. I am actually going to, let's see, what should we do here? We should probably bump some up here, bump some endurance up. So I'm going to do that because we will get free souls as you'll see here in a second. 
Now what I'm going to do, and I recommend you doing before we enter this area here, is to commit suicide. Fall off the edge like this. And you will respawn right here, so don't worry about it. Pick up your souls. And now we can enter. Uh, let's see, how many uh, Titanite, whoops, how many Titanite chunks do we have? Shards. All right, we only have four. So for this area, this is a good farming spot for souls. You can see now we only have 1,800 souls, so we could do some suicide runs here too, since there's a bonfire literally right there. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go get yet another set of armor. All right, that set is. Well, if we can get through the tree. Way over here. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't work, I'm sorry. This is a suicide run, though. So, we're supposed to die. But hopefully we get the goods before dying. So, hug the edge. There's the set of armor way out there. So what we're going to do now is book it. Just run run get to it and there you go there's the other set of armor now if you want to you can kind of come through here maybe practice on these guys I guess or die like I'm about to do because these guys are more difficult as you see it doesn't take two shots it takes more than two shots to kill these guys over here but we only lost 1800 souls and again we got another set of armor and that's the eastern set so let's take a look really quickly at what we got. We have the, let's see, here we go. You have, right now we have hard leather armor, the elite knight set, and the eastern set. The eastern set is actually better right there. Oops. Um, and there the elite knight set is better. So if we went with the best armor we could right now, it would be, looks like this. That would be it, that's what we look like. However, unfortunately, we'd be medium rolling. And um, I don't really like medium rolling. The elite knight set in totality though, or eastern, excuse me, looks like that. I think this is a retexture I have actually of it, but that doesn't look too far off. And then the Elite Knight armor set looks like this, and this is a retexture of that, by the way. It's not normally white. Um, whoops. I don't think there's any way we can wear this. No, it would have to be Eastern, and maybe that. Nope. Okay. All right, sorry about that. Let's just continue on here. Let's put what we... Can we wear that? Yeah, we can wear that. So we'll go. All right, now here's how to do a suicide... Or not suicide run, excuse me. How to farm easily here. All right, you do. Come over here. There's this knight here who does not respawn. That guy does respawn. <laughs> he usually shoots magic at you, though. As you hear there, there's a ninja, a cleric, and then a bandit up here. So, aggro all of them, and then just run backwards here. Towards where you came in. They will eventually all follow you. Go to the right here. They will not come this way. Okay, might want to heal up just in case magic guy decides that he wants to uh, um, shoot you from range there. Like he's going to do now. I wonder if that's going to hit us. No, it won't. So just stand here, shield up, and whoa man, that was bad. That was real bad. He fell off the edge. <laughs> he fell off the edge. That guy fell off the edge. That was not optimal, by the way. Um, how many guys did we kill there? I'm going to heal back up. And there should be someone else, shouldn't there? I feel like we didn't kill everyone, but then again, I was in a bad position there and didn't see any everyone. So, if that happens to you, do what I did. Shield up. Usually they'll just jump over your head or land on your head. Alright. So... Alright, the cleric here remained. So, cleric, you can just strafe around. Any of these guys, actually. Oh, man! The ninja's back. Alright, if you get double teamed like that, run back to where you came from. I knew I didn't get all of them. They, uh, turned around, apparently. So, don't, don't worry about it. Come back and do this again, and they should follow you back over here. They both are coming, yeah. So come back over here. He will... That's what they're supposed to do, like that. 
jump off, land on your shield or your head, and go over the edge. And you can keep doing that over and over again. You go up there to the bonfire, rest at it, and all of them except the knight that was in the front here will respawn. Alright, what we're going to do now is get rid of this, and we're going to go with the... Where's my... Um, um, really? There we go. We're going to go with the Black Knight Sword. You can see it. Better damage there. And before we go join the Forest Hunters, we are going to head over to the right here, because there's a couple things we can get over here before joining the Forest Hunters. So just come to the right and you will see there's a knight right there. So we're going to aggro the knight and draw him back here. He's powerful so make sure you block his attacks. You can see even a backstab with a black knight sword. Um, that doesn't do a whole heck of a lot of damage. Alright, we're stuck here in the forest a little bit. So, but you, come on, buddy. Where are you going? So have to shield up and then backstab him. Whoa. All right, this guy does not respawn either, by the way. Once you kill him, he is dead. But he will not follow you back there, I don't believe. All right, and now we have one more person over here. Let's see right there. I call her Ferris. I whatever. She's apparently he or she is just using Ferris's equipment. Unfortunately, might have pushed her off the edge there. Let's hopefully she doesn't. Or he or she, whatever it is, doesn't back up. But she has a bow. She's a hunter. And when killing, once you kill her, you get her bow. And you get um, her hat. Just don't go too far out there because those, uh, what do you call it, guys, will kill you, or will uh, start attacking you again. Okay, you see there, I died, and some not nice words came out of my mouth when I died. So next time, we will go get our souls again, and we'll join the forest hunters, we'll upgrade our weapons, and we'll take on the gargoyles, hopefully. Alright, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.